How we doing? God bless everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's meditation time. Meditation time. Good to see you. Meditation time. Invite your followers. Share it. Uh, Facebook it. Twitter. Okay. It's meditation time. Soak scope. Good evening. Good evening. It's right. It's soak scope time. We about to we about to meditate. Meditate on the word of God. So God bless you. God bless you. So invite whoever you can. Invite whoever you can. We're gonna soak right now. By the way, this is a group called Harvest Sound. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um, well, I'm not driving. I'm actually in Anthony's car. It's Anthony Howard. Amen. Good evening. Have you ever been able to... I caught a little bit of it. I'm going to catch some more... Um, when we get out, turn this down, son. Where's the volume at? I caught a little bit of it. We've been in this um, thing like all day. It was really rich. Um, if you don't know, they're doing Azusa now. Matter of fact, I just found out in this rich conference we've been at. Uh, well, it wasn't really a conference. It was more so a meeting of all of these intercessors for the Midwestern region. And what was powerful is not only is the Azusa going on, but they say there's also a meeting happening in D.C. right now with a whole bunch of leaders in the church. Um, and they're praying, praying on behalf of the leadership. So you got something going on in, in Los Angeles. You got something going on in L.A. You know what I mean? You got you got all this stuff. You said Texas. I mean, man, I mean, it's happening. And trust and believe that whatever it is that you've released into the atmosphere today, whether it was a personal prayer for yourself a prayer for a loved one today what you meditated on whatever it was trust that it is being released into the synergy of heaven because there's a synergy of the spirit that is happening right now and we are in the move of that synergy even what it is that we're, we're, we're meditating on the actual word the actual word that we're meditating on, all right, is not just going on the inside of us, but it's contributing to the synergy that is in the airway because we're speaking this creation in the airway and it's taking roots in the atmosphere. Amen. You said, how do you how do you stop back backsliding constantly? Um, that's that's it. What you say? Get some deliverance. Um, and after you get after you get some deliverance. Um, really want to not only um, you make that commitment with the Lord, but man, really start meditating on the word, man. I'm telling you right now, meditating on the word will really, I'm telling you, it will, it will begin to remove the desires. Matter of fact, this is perfect that you're on this scope for what we're going to meditate on right now. Matter of fact, could you turn that down for what you're going, we're going to meditate on right now. So, um, let me just set it up and say this Could you go to I think number 10 um, What we're going to meditate on tonight About pleasing or this afternoon About pleasing God um, You said reggae gossip song You open with the other Oh okay you know what Send it to my um, my Facebook page Philip M. Watson And I promised I'm, I, I was um, As a matter of fact No 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 the reggae song uh, survival plan all you got to do is go on youtube just go on youtube and put in survival plan by rachel and wallace fagut fagutu f-a-a-g-u-t-u i was just playing it off of youtube that's all but god bless you but let's go right into this first of all we all know joshua 1 and 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of our mouth all right but we're to meditate on it um, then we should make our way prosperous and we will have good success. The Lord tells us when we meditate on the word, we will prosper and have good success. Hebrews 4 and 12 talks about how the word is living or quick, 
That word quick means living, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It goes into our soul. It goes into our spirit. It says it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. It says it, it, it goes to the joints. It goes to the marrow. All right. And there are many other scriptures on um, meditation. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Many other things that have to do with uh, meditation um, um, in the word. But the meditation, this actual word, the Lord desires for it to be in our heart. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So even with the person with the question of the, of the backsliding, as you... As you meditate on the word, the Bible says to write it on the tables of your heart. The word is a sword, so it becomes engrafted, engraved in your heart. And as you engrave it in your heart, not only do you begin to become that word, you're actually opening yourself up to the reality because the word is made for your DNA. So this person, that, I hope you're really paying attention. This is real, I'm telling you. The word. You said, I just feel worse when I do only because I know I'm going to fail. Well, first of all, let me tell you right now, I rebuke that spirit right now of failure, of fear of failure and rejection in the name of Jesus. Because first of all, that is a demonic thought that is speaking to you. That is the enemy telling you, you know what? You might as well not do this because you're going to fail. We say the word of God, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And so think about it like this, man of God, okay? If God doesn't tell you, you know what? If you meditate on this, it's no use. You're going to fail. Then guess what? Guess who it's coming from? It's, it's only coming, it's either coming from you or it's coming from Satan. Amen. And so I'm telling you right now, the Lord told us if, as we meditate on the word, we will make our way prosperous and we will have good success. He did not say you will keep on backsliding. All right. So we stand on the authority of the word of God. All right. The creator of heaven and of earth. And we decree right now, this day is going to be a change. There is a seed you are going to plant. I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna share something personal, which I don't usually do this. I just like to go into the meditations. You said the word is made for your DNA, explain. I, I'll do that in a second. I, I really want us to get, well, here, yeah, let me say this. Check this out, man of God. I got delivered from, um, um, when I first got saved, all right? I came from a lifestyle of smoking, he heavy smoking, heavy drinking, all right, pornography, lust. I was highly sexual, um, lying. I mean, I had, I mean, I had a lot of stuff going on. I used to do shrooms, man. I, I had a lot of stuff going on. And long story short is, yeah, praise. It's the glory of God. Um, this is why I say this so confidently, because I've experienced it in my life. And I'm telling you, I was meditating on the word, not even knowing that that's what I was doing. Luke chapter nine, verse twenty-three: Deny thyself, take up thy cross, and follow me. I'm telling you right now, you got to use that word like your blunt. You got to use that word like it's your lover. You know what I'm saying? When you want to go after you, you think of that thought of saying, "I want to go and, and and get down with this person. I want to go and master." Debate. You know what I'm saying? I want to go and smoke this weed. I want to hit this drink. You know what? Say, I'm going to use the word as my substitute right now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And it will begin to cut that thing away that's on the inside of you. All right. And I had to use that. I used to masturbate too. Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it so you can get free. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Is is Man, look, look, look. All right. The word works. Amen. Because Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Amen. And he's giving us this word. I hate it when I see people. I hate it when the devil tries to come in and speak and get us to doubt the word of God. Because woman of God, like you said, the word is our DNA. I'm going to pull up the scripture. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the third meditation we do tonight. I got this whole layout on the word. And understand this. What created you and I? The word of God. So that means our DNA is wired to the word because the word is what created us. It authored us. There's a scripture that talks about how the word established us. It established our hearts. So if the word established our hearts, if the word made um, it, uh, if the word established and made our hearts. All right. Then guess what? Guess what? We are wired and programmed to respond to it. Now, I don't want to go too deep into it. I'll go deep into it later on because this is something I love to talk about. But long story short is the word. You are programmed for the word of God. 
still so tired of trying to recommit. I didn't tell you to recommit right now. Hey Amen. You recommitted already, didn't you? What do, we, what do we tell you? Get some deliverance and meditate on the word of God. Amen. All right. So meditate. And what I hear for you, too, is there's an issue with identity, too, man. You got to first you got to realize who you are. The word of God is going to tell you who you are. Amen. Um, but yo, let's do this right quick. You can do it. Come on, man of God. You're going to meditate on this word and feel the power of this word right now. We're clinging to this word. OK. Hey man, I, I struggle to, I'm telling you man, this word is a sharp two-edged sword. It's living and it's powerful because Jesus is alive and Jesus did not give himself on the cross, you know, for you to continue to fail. Jesus is saying, cling to, I'm telling you, meditate on the word, man. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Here, let me get, let me say a real graphic analogy so you can really, so you said my, so my DNA somehow got moved, mutated, leading to disease. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Amen. Because when we come into this world, you know, the sin, the corruption of sin, you know what I mean? Um, um, comes on us. Sin is the, is the author of, of death and disease. You know, we're, we're born into this thing. But here, let me say this, man of God. Let me say this, this, uh, one last, I just lost my train of thought. Um... I don't even remember what my... Oh, here it is. Let me get real graphic for you. No, you okay. Check this out. You are what you... The, the Bible says that wherever your heart is, there your treasure is also. So think about the things you've meditated on in life and ask yourself, and this is not a condemnation thing. This is something to really shine some light, okay? Something I used to meditate on, um, you know, I used to look at a lot of porn. I still remember... The first time I saw a porn magazine in fifth grade, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, we went over his crib and he snuck into his father's collection and showed us, you know, uh, you know, the pictures. I remember they used to sneak, we used to sneak pins in school in third grade, in third grade, all right? And with the naked woman, you know, I was always thinking about it. You know, in other words, it was my meditation. And so that thing began to come out of me very strong. I began to, to act on it. I'm telling you right now, meditating on the word of God you become the word you become the word you know Steph Curry got a flame jump shot what you think he's been I mean he's a man of God but what I'm saying is he didn't get that jump shot just sitting there saying Lord give me a jump shot and he got it nah he was meditating on his jumper in the action constantly shooting constantly shooting so meditating on God's word would make me love him again change my heart now this is what I'm going to say you make a decision to love the Lord all right, it's just like somebody or a personal relationship. You make the decision to love them. What the word does is the word begins to come in and it begins to cut away those things that are warring against your spirit. Those unseen things that you that that are not seen. That's what begins to happen. So the word aids and assists that initial decision. But it's you and I, we have free will. So man of God, I'm telling you now, rise up in your power and dominion and say, you know what? I choose to love Jesus. You said the deeper I get into, the more I realize I'm not cut out. See, that, that, that's what I'm saying. You got to, you, you, it's that mindset of yours. You have to make a decision to say, I'm going to believe the word. I'm going to believe what God is saying about me. I'm going to believe that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Because right now I sense that you don't believe that. Because you yeah, make Jesus your Lord and say, I'm going to love you. For real, I'm going to love you at all costs. You know what I mean? Think about this. If I get in a car and say, man, I know I'm going to get in an accident every time I drive, so I might as well not drive. Guess what? I'm never going to get in a car and drive. And, man, and not only am I never going to drive, accidents are going to happen because I'm looking for accidents to happen. You can't have that mindset. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Believe the Lord. Believe God. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. All right? You say, I'm going to love you, Lord, with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. I am going to love you, Lord. And we're going to pray. Matter of fact, we're going to pray for you right now before we get into this meditation. Because guess what? We don't wait for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here because he's on the inside of us. So, man of God, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you right now. 
and I'm, I'm agreeing in faith that the people on this broadcast are going to pray along with me. And through this corporate prayer, I'm asking everybody right now, we're going to pray for him right now. Okay, we're going to pray for him. We pray for his mind. Are you still there, man of God? Hey, even if you ain't there, we're going to pray for you. This thing going to happen. So, Lord God, we bless this man of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we speak to the prophetic purpose and destiny in his life. I heard the word warrior. You are a warrior. So, Lord, we speak to that warrior spirit that is on the inside of him. And we command for that warrior anointing that is on him to arise and shine. For his light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon him. Lord, I rebuke every single spirit of shame, discouragement, and condemnation. Doubt and unbelief, oh God, that will sit and try to hold this man of God down. For even as you say, so why are you downcast? We speak to his mind, his will, and his emotions. And we say, why are you downcast? Come alive for the hope of glory. We speak to that spirit that is willing, but the flesh that is weak. Lord, we speak to that willing spirit. And Lord, we lose strength right now. Everybody, let's just begin to lose strength. Even type it in. We lose strength. The man of God needs strength right now. We lose strength. Strength to him, oh God. Strength to make a decision to follow you. Strength to believe you, oh God. Strength to believe you. Strength to have faith. Strength to be encouraged. Strength to walk in you, oh Lord, with all his heart, all his soul, all his mind. Hallelujah. We lose godly strength, not a fleshly strength. We lose godly strength. And we say, arise and shine in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for every cord. That Now, right now, everybody, we're doing this corporately. Let's begin to break the cords. There's some cords, you know, a, a that are that constantly try to pull him back these cords they're cords of witchcraft they're constantly trying to pull him back right now we break these cords in the name of jesus we break the cords of condemnation we break the cords of witchcraft in the name of jesus we break the cord of the backslider we break the cord of, of self-rejection rejection and rebellion in the name of jesus yes let the anointing be released begin to release that anointing we release the anointing right now to destroy every single yoke of unbelief and fear fear of failure in the name of Jesus God Lord we decree right now you said Lord God the flesh of uh, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak but Lord you told us how the harvest is plenty oh God and but you told us to pray first for the Lord of the harvest so we pray even now that the Lord of the harvest you Jesus are moving wherever this man of God is right now you are realigning the things in his life now we we lose angels to where it is he is Lord God and I thank you Lord that he is never going to be the same from this moment forward Lord we speak to his destiny the destiny for him to arise and shine and walk as a warrior I pray now Lord you will release people from heaven that will sow into his life that will pour that will water I pray Lord God that you will open his hearing even more to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying that you will break him Lord God out of that constant going around in circles Lord God we break him out of it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray now that not only is he going to connect with you in a more intimate way, even on this meditation, oh Lord, but Lord, there is a new strength that he is going to feel in his spirit. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that the battle is won, the victory is won that you are transforming his identity. So Lord God, we speak to that anointing on him to be a warrior. And we say arise and shine. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. You are raising him up as a warrior, Lord God. Hallelujah, a, a, a warrior in prayer in the name of Jesus, God. So we rebuke those spirits of hindrance that get in the way of his faith. For you know, even as you has called him to be one, Lord, that prays and intercedes on behalf of others, Lord. Uh, uh, you know how the faith has to be there, Lord God. So we pray. There it is. That's good. Whatever, whoever just said that, that's good. Warrior, come forth in the name of Jesus. You are a warrior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a warrior. Come forth in the name of Jesus. Come forth in the name of Jesus. We're speaking to his destiny right now. That's right. We dwell in eternity. We are speaking to his destiny right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, I think, see, we're in agreement right now. Since we're in agreement with
with heaven you all this is taking place this is the will of the father for his life so now everything is going to to come forth and be in one accord with him so lord we just pray right now that warrior to come forth that prayer warrior to come forth that warrior lord god who will warfare and praise and worship lord i thank you lord god for that deliverance mantle that he has on his life lord that they are the lining that deliverance mantle in his life lord that not only is he being set free but you are going to use him as a vessel to set others free so lord i even pray that you will release encourage encouragers release barnabases into his life lord that will speak encouragement in his life in the name of jesus we bless the man of god and i pray lord god that the, that as we are praying for him now you are endowing him with the dew of the anointing hallelujah to destroy every single yoke I thank you. He has encountered you right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we pray he will not go back. He will continue to go forward. Let a fresh momentum be blown into his life. Hallelujah. I decree the winds of momentum be blown in his life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, man of God, if you still there, um, we're going to meditate on this word of God. I'm telling you, that word of God, that this, this meditation we about to, uh, hey, this is perfect what we about to get on. Watch what I tell you. So could you bring that back for me, Ann? So the meditation we're going to meditate on, you all, I saw all of these scriptures about pleasing God. And so we really want to focus now on the Father being pleased. And what better scripture to start at than Hebrews 11 verse 6. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Listen to this man of God. This is for you. And I, I, we were already going to do this before I even knew that you were coming on here. This is the Lord. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mm. So, man of God, you have to believe the Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we're going to we're going to split this verse up right here. We know that when we meditate, you're going to say the verse over and over. But as you're saying it, you're going to ponder on it. We're not doing like Eastern Indian meditation where you empty your mind. You're going to ponder on it. You're going to think about these words as you're saying them. And you're going to allow these words to begin to connect with your heart. Because the difference with meditating on the word is the person that we are talking about is alive and living. This word right here is literally alive. What we are meditating on is literally alive. And the author is alive. Amen. Man of God, we're going to do it. Let's do it. Come on. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Hebrews 11, verse 6. We're going to um, meditate on... Which part should we do, Lord? Mm. Let's do without faith. It is impossible to please Him. We're going to say that. We're just going to keep saying it. We're going to trust whatever revelations come out of that. All right? Let's begin to do that. Without faith... It is impossible to please him. Without faith, 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 it is impossible to please him. Let's trust the Lord. Don't see that that's your, your, our, our flesh. That's our flesh telling us it's condemning. All right. Let's right now. I rebuke the devil even trying to come and even trying to, to, to block this meditation because Jesus has never spoke condemnation. Hallelujah. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to say this word and we're trusting what Jesus is going to do without faith. It is impossible to please him without faith it is impossible to please him without faith it is impossible to please him mm. without faith 
it is impossible to please him. Let's th let's think on that. Let's ponder it. Allow the word to touch your heart without faith. It is impossible to please him mm. without faith. It is impossible to please him 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 without faith. It is impossible to please him. We're, for those you all that just joined on, we're meditating on Hebrews 11 verse 6. We're starting at that first part where we're saying the scripture and you ponder it. Think on it. Let it begin to connect with your heart. Talk to the Lord. You are talking to the Lord. Imagine yourself. You are talking to him. But this is a real imagination. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. We are right there in heaven right now looking on at the throne without faith it is impossible to please him say this to your mind your will and your emotions without faith it is impossible to please him mm. now we're going to release revelation the revelation that i'm getting out of this and you can release yours on the screen is if the Lord is telling us that something is impossible, that means he's made something possible because it's his will for us to please him. So if it's his will for us to please him, that means it's his will for us to not only have faith, but him to even give us faith. Because he said without faith, it is impossible to please him. So he did not make us to where it's impossible for us to please him. Hmm. Lord God, without faith, it is impossible to, to delight you. Without me believing what you say, it is impossible to bring you pleasure. Without faith, it is hard for me to bring you delight. Hmm. Now let's think about the please him. Let's start meditating on the please him part. Please him. Matter of fact, let's make it more personal. Let's start saying, please you. Oh, okay. Amen. You say you wouldn't ask us. Amen. That's right. So let's start saying, please you. Lord, I have faith, so I please you. Let's start saying that. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I please you. We're saying the word. We're just decreeing it. I have faith. So I please you. Some of you are. That's hard for you to believe that. But that's your carnal mind trying to hinder you. All right. Let's break out of that. Let's move by the spirit. There's power in these decrees. I have faith. So I please you. Man of God, I want, I want to see you post that on the screen. The one that was struggling with faith. Say that. You're going to see stuff start to begin to be broken. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Speak that power. I have faith. So I please you. I have faith. So I please you. I have a lot of faith. So you are very pleased with me. I like what you just said right there. That's good. I have faith. So I please you. I please you. Think about who we're telling we please, y'all. I please you. Mm, think about that, y'all. We, we telling the Lord we please him. Come on, there's a power in that. I please you. Hallelujah. I please you. When I believe in just the little things, I please you. Ha. Lord, we meditate on this word right now, and we have faith on what, what it's doing. So I thank you that we are pleasing you. Yes, the amen. 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 Let's go. Come on, say it. That's how you fight right now. Use that sword. 
This, the word is a sword. Speak this word right now. I have faith. So I please you. I please you. I please you. Come on, this word is going to our identity right now. Hallelujah. I please you. I please you. I please you. I have faith. So I please you. Amen. We're going to stay right here until that thing break. I have faith. So I please you. See, it's difficult for you, but don't put your trust in you. Put your trust in the word. Go ahead and say it. That's right. Say it until if you begin to believe that thing. Begin to ponder it. Let it war with what's in your heart right now. Amen. Begin to believe that word. Come on, cling to that word. I have faith, so I please you. That's good, cat. God is pleased with me because of my faith in him. It's faith that got you here right now. No, nah, uh-uh. Don't, don't hold back your sobs and scream. Don't hold it back. That's that thing wanting to come out so you can get a release. Let it go. Let it go. I, I command that spirit to come out in the name of Jesus. Any, any spirit that is not of the Lord that will try to hold in her sobs and her screams. That's right. That's that deep hurt. Let it go. I command deep hurt to come out in the name of Jesus. I command trauma to come out in the name of Jesus. I, I command old hurt. I, I command hurt in the wombs to come out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command that that love of, of, of being hurt, that, that victim mentality to come out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cling to the word. The Lord said you will prosper. You will be free. Cling to my word. Hallelujah. The devil's trying to hide up in there. Come out, devil. In the name of Jesus, no more will you keep her bound. In Jesus' name, I have faith, so I please you. That's right, you, you fed up with it. Come on, let's say this word. Let's say this word, get free. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I please you. Come on, woman of God, say it. I have faith, so I please you. I want you to put it on the screen. That's an act of faith right there. Put it put it out there. Say that. Release it in the atmosphere. We're going to agree with you corporately. Come on. I have faith. There you go. I have faith, so I please you. Man of God that was struggling with it. Put it up on the screen. Come on. We're going to keep saying it. I have faith, so I please you. Mmm. I have faith, so I please you. Come on, say it again. Say it again. I have faith, so I please you. Mm. I have faith, so I please you. Yes, God. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel it. For me. <laughs> I have faith. So I please you. I just thought about things people have tried to accuse me of and make me question then. I'm like, I ain't even know. You know what? I have faith. So I please you. Come on, you all. I have, I'm feeling this too. I have faith. So I please you. I please you. Come on, let's say that. We're going to say that to the Lord. Come on. I please you. Mmm. This is our identity. This is the truth. I please you. You are pleased with me, Lord, because I trust in you. Begin to release that revelation on the screen about we please him. Come on. I have faith, so I please you. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of this meditation, so I please you. Huh? I honor you. So I please you. You love me. And just because I believe that, I please you. I will please you because I have faith. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith in the fact that you love me. So that pleases you. Huh. I delight in you, so I please you. You love me. And I believe.